welcome back. My name is Scott Aromatico. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am fired up. I am so excited. The hype is real. And right now, pause the video and go and order your Coco Loco. That's right. Just go and order it because the supply is limited, guys. This is a limited run and it is flying off the shelf because the hype is real. And that's because this fragrance, spoiler alert, is fan freaking tastic. And I'm so excited to be talking about the brand new Zaharoff Coco Loco. We've all been waiting for this fragrance. And this has a special place in my heart because I have a lot of friends from Brazil who have since moved back to Rio. And I used to hang out with them and party with them. And I know how much they love their country. I know how beautiful Rio can be from the pictures that I've seen and just hanging out with these people. I love 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 all things brazil and one day i hope to visit that place just like george zaharoff got to do when he was inspired by this amazing fragrance okay so that brings me to what this fragrance is inspired by and of course it is inspired by all things brazil but mainly the the beaches of rio and also carnival and you may be asking what is carnival you've heard that word before not quite sure what it means basically carnival is when you indulge in your senses and you engage in frivolity and fun because Lent is coming up and you engage in your indulgences. And so what that may mean to you or to others is dancing and music and having fun and even some sexual tension and drinks and all kinds of things that you wanna to do to kind of get it out of your system before Lent starts 40 days before the Passover of Easter. So it's an incredible holiday, it's fun, it's bright, it is, celebrated with feathers and masks and dancing and samba and maracas and just drums and it's just a fun party in the streets and one of the things about Rio and Brazil is so cool it is a melting pot of all classes because you've got the really poor and you've got the really rich and they get together for one night and none of that matters because they have a big celebration and this is what this fragrance and what this vibe is all about it's light it's fun it's exciting, it's playful. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and show the presentation. Here you go, love this presentation. One of the things I love about George is he's always stepping up his game. He's never staying stagnant. He's always moving forward. Look at this presentation. And this basically kind of describes what I was talking about. And I'll put a few pictures on the screen here real quick. Let me just show you some pictures. You know, right here, what you see is you've got Christ the Redeemer, which overlooks the beaches of Rio. Absolutely beautiful, very iconic site. And then here's a couple, uh, a couple dancers, you know, from Carnival, you know, with their feathers on, and then maybe a little, some masks, just to kind of show you some of the mask designs, guys. And it's just a fun, fun atmosphere, okay? Where people are indulging in all kinds of fun. But look at this box, y'all. Coco Loco, right there. I love the colors. I love how playful that is. There you've got one of the dancers holding the Morocco's. You've got the sun right there with the Zaharoff logo and the palm trees playing in the sand. Isn't that awesome? And I love the reflective nature of this. And then you turn it around, you've got the drums, you've got the masks, you've got the coconut drink, which kind of gives you an idea. Brazil is known for their beautiful birds, like their macaws and parrots. Then you've got your pertinent information here on the back. And in case you guys were wondering, this black and white actually has meaning. And I found that out by hanging out with some of my friends and also doing some research. And I'll put up some pictures right now. This design that goes all the way around the box and inside, I love this attention to detail, is mimicking those streets and those sidewalks that you can walk on that go right along the beach. And here's a couple of pictures right here I'll insert. So I just thought that was a cool touch to show those streets and those sidewalks as you're walking along the beach. And there are many vendors that'll sell you all kinds of fruity, coconutty drinks and you really get that beautiful, fun, playful, coconutty vibe as you're walking the streets and watching people play soccer and volleyball and just having fun in the sun. So that's a cool little touch. Well done, George Zaharoff. But anyways, that is the presentation of the box. All right, cool little touch. All right, here is the bottle. Love these plates. I love how they stepped up their game and how Zaharoff went to these plates. And isn't this beautiful? Now, one of the things about this fragrance is it comes in five different caps. And like I said, y'all hurry up and order it before they run out. You can get a yellow cap, a red cap, a purple, green, or blue. And hey, 
You know, if you only get, get one fragrance and you don't get many different caps or many different fragrances, you can even take some of your existing Zahara fragrances, like Citrine if you have it, and very easily, if this is important to you, switch them out and now you've got a green cap, okay? So, you know, it, for those of you worried about the caps, just take one of your other caps from your Zahara fragrance and switch it out, boom, it's kind of a fun thing that you can do. But one of the things I love is this mask on the front, this Carnival mask. I love the colors, it's absolutely amazing. Here's the back. The juice is kind of a bluish color, if you guys can see that. Kind of a light blue. And then I love the technology of the cap. Clicks into place. Got the Zaharoff logo right here. And inside, guys, a nice little touch is the Zaharoff logo as well, if y'all can see that. All right, one little quick thing. I love when you get these fragrances, you get all the fragrances that were made with the OG right here. This is the one that started it all for me. And then there's your Coco Loco, your notes right here. But I'll give you those in just a minute. This is a nice touch too. And then it usually comes with a personal note from the owner and not many owners are very giving like that and take the time. So I think that's a cool little touch as well. All right, let's go ahead and smell the scent profile and spray it and I'll give you my impression. <sighs> it's so good. This fragrance is amazing. It's just as soon as you smell it, it's so luscious and so thick and so dense and so tropical. It definitely takes you away to the tropical beach vacation. You can hear the waves crashing in the background. You know how you put your uh, seashell to your ear and you can hear the waves? Well, if you spray this fragrance on, you are gonna hear the waves. This smells absolutely intoxicating. Right away, I just get hit with that beautiful, fleshy, coconutty vibe that just smells intoxicating. Uh, and then mix with that clementine. I really love the clementine and the coconut mixed together. You know, basically, when you just smell this, you just get a blast of fruits. It's like a fruit cocktail, but coconut, the fleshy coconut and the clementine are really what stick out to me. Just smells so, so good. Sweet, tropical, but not too sweet, not too in your face, but you can tell that this fragrance really, really carries some weight. And I wore this all day today, and I gotta tell you, this fragrance was pumping all day off my skin. I just kept getting whiffs of it after hour after hour after hour. And I'm gonna tell you just right, right out of the gate, because I usually wait till last, you're gonna get eight plus hours easily on your skin with this one in the scent trail is huge and the compliments are gonna come and people are gonna to wanna to know what you wear because this smells so tropical. You know, I almost pick up something like a, of a lime accord. I'm not, I don't think that's in the notes or in this fragrance, but you know, to my nose, I almost pick up something that smells like lime, but um, I'm not sure what that is exactly. But man, this fragrance just, it's so juicy and so fruity and just so good. And then as this fragrance starts to develop, you really, really pick up a lot of musk it's just a sensual, just thick musk. It just smells absolutely amazing and it's fresh and it has some depth. And then it starts to warm up ever so slightly. Ugh, it smells so good. The vanilla is definitely there. Guys, hurry, hurry. It's a limited run. Go and buy yours. This stuff smells amazing. I think you can pick this up for $135 for a 60 ml, but Get it while supplies last because it just smells so good. Let's look at the notes real quick. All right, in the top, you've got some cardamom, pineapple, clementine, juicy pear. In the heart of the fragrance, you've got coconut flesh oil, blonde cedar, pimento leaves, neroli petals, and jasmine. In the base, we have benzoin, tonka bean, heliotrope, vanilla, and musk wow <laughs> guys seriously this stuff is amazing i was gonna say bananas but that's not the right word this stuff is coconuts it is so good i just i love all the fruitiness that mixes together i love the depth of it the musk is so creamy and rich and thick it's warm on the dry down and i'm telling you this stuff keeps pumping the scent bubbles actually absolutely big which you guys love and 
I have it on good authority. This fragrance, which came out first, if I were to compare these two, I would say that they are both brothers, okay? And this is the good brother who minds his manners. He's mom's favorite, right? Does everything by the book. And this is the playful brother, a little bit fun, a little bit risky, likes to go out at night. So this is kind of your daytime refreshing fragrance and you might need to even refresh with this one, but this one's gonna turn heads, cause some trouble and get you noticed and have a lot of fun doing it. And you can tell by looking at the bottle, but both of these fragrances are amazing. I know for sure this one is a limited run, so you gotta hurry, I know I keep saying that. And this one might be too, but I'm not sure. You guys comment down below if this is a limited run because I can't remember if it is. But if it is, pick this one up too because it is amazing. But guys, right here, this is the stuff. It smells intoxicating. If you love a fleshy, thick, coconutty scent, you know, with all those fruits, the pear, the pineapple, the clementine, Ah, oh, smells so good. A little bit of neroli in there. The blonde cedar is really, really nice. Just makes this smell absolutely amazing. It helps balance everything out. It's somewhat of a spiciness, not too much. That might be coming from the karma, but this is fan freaking tastic. I love it. It's a must have and I'll be sad when I run out. So I've got to get a backup bottle as soon as this video is over. I am going to take my own advice and get one. So guys, there you have it. I'm going to rate it. Out of 10, I'm going to give it a 9.5, okay? It's not quite a 10 like Rosé is or like Leather to Back, but it's a 9.5 and, and it's that freaking good. Definitely get it, guys, for 135 bucks. You can't beat that for a 60 ml and this kind of niche quality. Wow, George, you've done it again. Claude Durr, you've done it again. What an amazing Choco Beach Vacation fragrance. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on Zaharoff on the new signature Coco Loco. What are some of your favorite beach time fragrances? Comment down below. And what are some of your favorite, you know, Zahara fragrances in particular? If you wanna rank them, rank them down in the comments. I'd be curious to see what you guys think are the best, you know, all the way to the worst, rank them down below. And if you guys gotten your nose on this, if not, you better hurry up, do whatever you gotta do to get a decant. If you wanna test it out, you know, if you don't wanna trust me, you don't wanna trust one of these dumb reviewers, then go out and get a decant somewhere. I'm sure you can find one. Uh, maybe my good friend Fat Boy Fragrances might have a decant for you guys. I'm not sure, but definitely check it out and get you a decant. Otherwise, get off your butt and go buy it right now because this is fan freaking tastic. It is amazing. So there you have it, guys. If you got any value from the video whatsoever, please leave a thumbs up. Please hit it or a thumbs down. I don't care. Either way, the engagement's good. And guys, leave a comment down below, you know, telling me where you're from what you like, if you've tried any of these fragrances before. And then I'd love for you to subscribe and be a part of my fragrance family. Just hit that subscribe button right there and then hit those bell notifications off the side. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I hope wherever y'all are at, you're finding peace and happiness. This is Scott Aromatico, out.